So good morning and welcome to the lower body flow. Just take a moment to find a comfortable position and you can sit right on the chair called pranayama or if you feel comfortable seated on the ground, come to sit on the ground, having your chair, yoga mat, tissues for pranayama, some warm water or herbal tea to keep hydrated. So let's all close the eyes and just take a moment to pause from this busy morning. It's been busy for myself, driving around, driving my daughter to school, rushing in the morning. So just taking a moment to pause and just to be, to be present, to enjoy the breath, Take a deep breath in, breathe into your heart, expand your chest, lift your heart. A gentle sigh if you feel any tension through your body. And listen to the sound of your breath. This gentle, soft sound. And just listening to the subtle, changing tones of the sound as you breathe in. Notice the sound of the inhale and notice the sound of the exhale. Just noticing how the sound comes in, how it goes, how it fades. Notice the pause in between your inhalation, exhalation, noticing the pause in between the exhalation and inhalation. So we'll come to Anuloma Valoma. Being great for any sort of depression, stagnation on a mental level, but also to balance all, balancing the mind, balancing the energy through the physical body, balancing the flow. So we'll do two sets of 10. Simple Anuloma Voloma alternate nostril breath, beginning and finishing on the left for each round, pausing in between. Deep soothing breath to the top of the lungs, bottom of the lungs, back front. And as you finish 10, if you feel like doing a few more, go ahead, listen to your body, listen to your chest, listen to your lungs. If not, come to pause, to breathe and enjoy the breath. 
Just like that, simple. Allow the mind to settle on your breath. Anytime you begin to think about something else, something outside this room, outside this practice, outside your body, come back to the flow of your breath, listening to your breath. Digesting your breath investigating without really attaching to judge, to question, to criticize, just observing. And just simple as that. There's nothing to it. Just feeling the chest, feeling the lungs. Feeling the lungs through that breath as we breathe in and feel that space, the presence of expanding and contracting. Because we can't truly physically feel the lung tissue. There's no nerve endings to the lung tissue. We can't feel it. If there's no nerve endings, we can't feel it. There's receptors, sensation. Therefore, it's so important to keep the lungs healthy. Second set, Anuloma Valoma. 10 rounds on your own pace. You can bring more energy to the lungs or you can go soothing slow, it's up to you. And remember to pause. Coming back to pause. I have a little bit of congestion. I think it's from walking bare feet the other day. It's November and the grass is moist and cold and I've been walking bare feet a lot. So now I'm kind of feeling that congestion. So bringing that strength and energy a little bit stronger. Anuloma Valoma Bastrica helps to clear congestion and mucus. So I'm talking a lot about lungs through anuloma voloma, balancing, oxidizing, because it's all connected, connected through the rasa plasma that circulates through the chest, lungs, heart. And from there, it builds strong reproductive tissue in lower body pelvis, we focus on shukra and artava, which is in Sanskrit, female and male reproductive tissue. And the strength of the reproductive tissue is very important as we grow older, we tend to dry, dehydrate. So the tissues are drying. So bringing ojas, bringing rasa, all that circulation from the heart through the body, it's connected. 
Rasa being the first tissue created plasma, part of blood, and then coming into the reproductive tissues that create vitality, that actually build OJAS strength, vitality. Just in case you wonder, I'm not thinking it's Monday, I know it's Friday, it's flow of the lower body practice, but we focus on all of it. From here, Bastrika, again, heating pranayama, strengthening the heart, again, strengthening the flow. Exaggerated breath, bellows breath, on your own pace, your own flow. You can take it easy, you can go a little crazy. Whenever you're ready, 10 rounds, pausing, two sets. Blow your nose whenever you have to. Finish, pause, just to be. Notice the lightness. Just being present, digesting this energy, allowing this energy to settle where it needs to settle. Whenever you're ready, if you're ready, second set of Bastrika, bellows breath. <laughs> Breathing fully, expanding, pausing. Breathing out, fully emptying, pausing. As you finish, take a breath in and you may pause for a moment, feeling and fooling lungs. I don't think that's a word. Bringing fullness to the lungs. Awareness to the body. Noticing pelvic floor. Noticing diaphragm. Noticing the muscles through the chest, inviting new sensations, noticing it all, feeling it all. If there is any tension, any discomfort, take a deep breath in, into that area, expanding.
Bastika improves circulation of all. So we're moving on to Kapalabhati. Kapalabhati, strengthening the internal organs in the abdominal cavity, massaging it all. Kapalabhati, focus on the navel. Deep breath into the belly and from the belly, pumping, contracting, focusing on the muscles. We'll do two sets whenever you're ready, begin. Anytime you need to pause, pause, reset, take a deep breath in and continue. Strong action, pumping, belly, relax through the lower back. If you feel tension through the lower back, gently scoop your big bone to navel, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Ten more. Slow it down. Inhale into the belly. Lengthen the spine. Expand the belly and pause. When you're ready, exhale through the mouth. Cardiovascular pranayama, strengthening cardiovascular system. It's like running without running, Dr. Lad says. Dr. Vasant Lad, who brought Ayurveda to America. Just enjoy being in this pause.
Agni Sara. Agni Sara. Massaging, even going deeper to break, to release any mucus from the stomach, improve the digestion, assimilation of the nutrients in the small intestine. Agni Sara. Deep breath in, exhaling, fully emptying, draw the navel in and out, lengthen the spine and on empty, massage the belly. Release the belly, expand and contract. So that's what we're doing, pumping the belly, going really deep. I like to sit kind of tall on my heels, but you can come to standing in Utkatasana if you feel that more uh, beneficial, like, See the toe on the edge of the chair will work as well. You want to have the natural lumbar spine here. So you can really expand the belly and draw all the air in. And the inhalation rises, just pause to be meditative. And close your eyes, going inwards, noticing sensations. And second set, going deep, only pumping your belly for as long as the inhalation allows you. Inhalation comes. Take a deep breath and relax. One more, deep breath in, breath out, back it in, navel in, strong core, pelvic floor, lift it up. And come to pause. Enjoying your breath. So we'll finish with Chandra bed and our Chandra is a moon. Chandra means moon in Sanskrit. So it's close to Anuloma Paloma, Chandra Bedana. Just breathing in and out through the left nostril. So again, we're going to bring the right hand to the face and close the right nostril completely. And we're going to just breathe in and out through the left nostril. So what it does, it releases excess heat in the body. It decreases inflammation in the body and the mind. 
It cools the mind, hot mind, angry mind, impatient mind, too much heat in the mind, all the qualities of heat. But it also strengthens reproductive tissue. So when we can think of the pelvic floor, all the organs. So whenever you're ready, let's take a moment and let's breathe just through the left nostril, in and out, soothing long breath, in and out. Without rushing. When you inhale, pause and wait when the exhalation comes. Exhale. Without rushing, pause and allow the inhalation to come naturally without any control. Just breathing through the left. Try not to initiate the inhale and exhale, just naturally flow with the breath. The natural pauses in between, doesn't matter how short or long they are. And slowly finish up. Keep your eyes closed, just coming to pause. And when you're ready, we'll begin with very gentle pelvic tilts, introducing breath as we tilt the pelvis forward, inhaling deep, and as we exhale, scooping pubic bone to navel, tilting the pelvis back. So the pelvis being like a bowl of water, spilling the water forward, inhaling, and exhaling, <coughs> excuse me, spilling the water back. And from here, allowing that energy to flow through the lumbar spine, thoracic spine, cervical spine, nice and soft. We're seeing all the pelvis initiating that movement from the sit bones, rolling over the sit bones, gently massaging over the marmani, stretch marmani. And as you come to inhale, gently start to fold forward. So from the pelvis, leaning forward as you lengthen the spine, folding forward, keeping your sit bones heavy and feeling gentle stretch through the lower back. And exhaling, scooping in, chin to chest, pivot bone to navel, navel in, very gentle. Two more. And coming back to center, straighten your legs, extend and flex, gently dancing. We are slowly coming to stand. Take your time. 
flex and fold through your ankles, your toes. Let's do circles through the ankles. And come to stand tall beside your chair. Coming to shift away, shift away side to side. Feeling the edges of your feet, feeling the big toe. Very gently introduce some movement to the knuckles of your feet. Gently shifting the weight, the weight to the ball of the foot. And bend your knees, bend your hips, finding their gentle flow. You can bring your hands to your hips. Then bring your hands to the hip creases, palms in. Again, there's all these marma points into the hip creases, or maybe bringing your hands to the thighs, shifting the weight. Kind of like skiing, coming side to side. Begin to draw figure eights with your pelvis. Draw figure eights. Stepping in place, shifting the weight. And then from here, coming to stand, feet hip distance apart. Extend through the back of your knees and shift your pelvis forward. Feet hip distance apart or shoulder width apart, just standing wide and gently press your pelvis forward, extend through the back of your knees. Hug through your thighs, skin to muscle, muscle to bone, hugging through the knee joints. And then inhale, come back to center, talking your feet together. Ankle to ankle, gently pressing in, micro bend your knees, the soft bend through the knees. And as you inhale, bring your hands up. Bring your hands together, interlace. Exhale, just pause for a moment here. Shifting the weight forward and back, feel the weight through your toes. As if you could press down through your tippy toes, the tops of your toes, gently Curl in your toes, stand tall, pressing your toes. Can you feel all of your toes? Baby toe and so on, bringing awareness to all the toes, shifting the weight. Now we're going to hug the big toes down, hugging through the big toes and the ball of the big toe, keeping your feet together, ankles together as much as you can. Connecting the skin to skin, left foot to the right foot. Very slightly shifting the weight forward and back. Only an inch or so. Moving the pelvis forward and back. Hugging legs together, lift your pelvic floor. And at any time when your shoulders get tired, bend your elbows, place your hands down on your head and draw the crown to your hands, lengthen through the back of your neck. That really helps to align the shoulders with the ears. So there's no need to suffer, it should feel good. So keep the legs through your entire body, lift your pelvic floor. And from here, we're going to exhale, bring the hands to the heart, keep your hands into legs and sit back, coming into Utkatasana chair pose. Check in, look down, make sure you can see your toes, roll your shoulders back. Gently press your hands together at the same time. Lift your pelvic floor, press your the pelvic floor up. Hug your sit bones. Scoop your big bone to navel. Micro movement, like less than an inch. Just softly, feel your glute muscles. Hug them, exhale, lower. Just lower a little bit more. And at any time, feel free to use the chair. Feel free to hover over the chair. Feel free to sit, take a break. We're going to hug the pelvic floor even more, sit bone to sit bone. Draw that energy to the center as if you could scoop sit bone to sit bone right in the middle center. And then inhale, come to stand, nice and slow. Exhale, release your hands, palms forward. Just allow this energy to flow. 
And from here, coming back to gently shifting weight forward and back, feel all of your toes. Gently pressing your toe bones down from the baby toe to the big toe. Hug in, curl in, claw in with your toes. Beautiful, coming to center again, inhaling, arms come up. So this is our warm up, bringing all that energy in. Interlace your hands, take another inhalation, lengthen the spine. And as you lengthen the spine, exhale, gentle back bend. Hips are moving forward, an inch or so, lengthening through the hip creases, lengthening through the navel. Lift your heart, scoop your big bone to navel, create that lumbar space. Lift the lower ribs, back and front. And then on your inhalation, come back to center. Exhale, hands to heart, sitting back with Katasana, chair pose. Roll your shoulders back, sitting low. There's nowhere else to go. Breathing in the sun, breathing in this fresh prana energy, light and joy into the heart. Scoop. Pelvic floor, sit bones, squeeze, feel the gluteal muscles. Feel the bones needle, exhale, lower, check in. Navel in, lengthen the spine. Press your hands together, squeeze your pelvic floor even more, and then inhale, rising. Hands over the head. Nice and slow. Exhale, stretch as much tissue as you can. Lower your hands. Bring your palms forward, right in front. Mountain pose, that's all, just standing there. Just being strong, supported, patient, present. One more time, through the feet, feel the feet, toes, rooted, grounded. We're using maybe very gentle, graceful, hugging, clawing in with the toes, just to bring the awareness. There shouldn't be any pain. So very gently hugging, clawing in through the feet, hugging legs together. Lift your pelvic floor, sit bone, inhale, arms up. Hands together, interlace. When you're ready, exhale, gentle back bend. Soften through the back bend as you exhale, one more breath. Lift the lower ribs, back front. Soften through your throat. And inhale, come back to center. Exhale, out, stretching as much tissue as you can. From here, scoop your hands to your heart and sit back, exhale. Sit, staying with breath, shifting the weight side to side. Very gently, very slightly. Be aware of your knees. Notice the weight in the right foot. Notice the engagement of the hamstring as it hugs, becomes heavier, shift to the left. Notice the weight in the left foot, left heel, left sit bone. And keep shifting, nice and slow. Lift your pelvic floor. Coming to center, exhale a little bit lower, release your hands. Sit back, so we are kind of sitting low, almost 90 degree, and both legs are together, connecting belly to thighs, leg to the spine. And from here, inhale, use your arms to rise up. And exhale, come to mountain pose. Feel. From the feet, from the toes to the top of the crown. Mm -hmm. 
So feel your feet hip distance apart, shift the weight side to side. We're going to step side to side, lift the knees, begin to lift the knees, bend your knees, step a little bit wider, start crossing your legs. Your arms soft, allow that energy to flow. Just stepping side to side. A little bit faster. Allow your arms to move, to swing. Try to move the right arm with the right leg, left arm with the left leg. Finding your balance. Always using the chair. You have to be behind the chair, shifting the weight side to side, bringing some movement to the body. Beautiful. Come back to center. We're going to shift the weight to the left and crawl the right toes under, gently putting pressure, stretching through the front of the foot. And from here, very gently begin to roll from the big toe to the baby toe. Beautiful. Step the right foot forward, heel down, draw your toes in, sit back. Sit back to the left hip. Make sure you don't cross the left knee over your toes. So the right leg forward, left leg back. Widen your stance for balance if you have to and sit back onto the left side, making sure your knee is not crossing the toe. Stretching through the back of the right leg, lift the sit bones, lengthen the spine. You can bring your hands into the hip creases, gently pressing in, activating through the marma. Even applying a little bit of hand weight, it gives you that feeling of creating a little bit of traction through the hip joints. Shift the weight forward. We're going to step the left leg back. So if you are using the chair for warriors, then be right in front of your chair. Having squared hip. Warrior one, stepping the right leg forward, left leg back. And from here, we're going to find that 90, 90. Yeah. Rolling on the back of the toes, stretching through the plantar fascia. Inhaling up. Exhale, hands to the back, finding that Kati Marmani that I showed earlier on the posterior superior foramen, foramina, plural to dimples. So as best as you can, open through the left hip, keep your pelvis square, lift your pelvic floor, inhale, lift your heart, scoop pubic bone to middle even more and press your thumbs into the lower back. Deep breath in. Relax through the back foot. And then from here, inhaling, bringing your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, find the chair. Or if you're not using the chair, we slow, slowly hop forward, coming in, walking it off. Bend your knees, step side to side, cross your legs. You should feel the left hip now. Use the strength of your lower body, shifting your weight. Swing your arms, opposite arms, opposite elbow to the knee. Lifting your knees a little bit higher, keeping the length through the spine. So we get a little bit of obliques and warm up. Beautiful. Walk it up. Just in space, 
Shift the weight to the right, sorry, to the left. And now we're curling the right, no. Shifting the weight to the right, curling the left toes, right? The other side, whatever left for you. Gently roll from the big toe to the little toe, stretch. And from here, we're coming to step left leg forward, heel down, step the right leg back. Stretch, sit back into the right hip. You're doing it in the chair, you're doing it here. Lengthen the spine, fall, feel the deep stretch through the back of the left leg. Deep breath, soften through the sit bone, soften through the hamstring. Hug your knee gently. And then from here, coming back to center. And we're coming to step the right leg back for warrior one, 90-90. Again, lower body, apana, strong muscle, strong joint. Finding a 90-90 where you can stay in a comfortable position. Open through the right hip. Inhale your arms up. Exhale them to your back, thumbs to kati. And from here, exhale, lower down. Good, gently pressing in, massaging in. Gently pressing down through the left big toe. Gently hugging the top of the right big toe. Yeah, feeling the energy through those toes. Inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold, find the chair, hop in. And walk it up side to side. Steady breath. Slow it down. Coming to sit on the chair for figure four. First, we're rocking. The root down to the left foot. Draw the right knee up. Hug in. Placing your hands into the fingers. Pressing in. Thigh to the belly. See the toe on the sit bones. We're coming to rock. Focusing on the right side. Rocking forward and back, massaging over the sit bone, massaging over the tendons of the muscles, activating the Golgi tendons, bringing awareness to the right side of the body. Keep the line through the spine, keep the constriction, contraction through the hip joint. Pressing in your thigh to the belly, abstracting, massaging through the lymph nodes. Beautiful. Just a few more. And from here, coming to center, exhale, lower your foot, open the hip. Now, take a moment to pause, create to flow through the right hip, gently using your hand, begin to pump your leg away, massaging with the palm of your hand, coming in towards the hip, and back to the knee. Completely relax through the right side using the strength of your arm. 
Bring a little wiggle or shakiness to your leg. And from here, weave it's in your practice. Lift your leg and move side to side. Maybe draw little circles here. And feel if there's any tension, what sort of stretch or angle you want to bring to release the stress. Placing your ankle down on your thigh, sit tall on your sit bone, and from here, fold forward, just slightly leading with your heart, without grounding the spine, gazing forward, lift your tail, sit bones away from your knee, coming into that interior pelvic tilt, spilling the water, and going deep into the right hip. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, go a little bit deeper if you can. You can gently pulse with your breath. Inhaling, coming back, and exhaling, folding from the hip. Notice the knee, if there's pulling, press, pressing sensation, draw your toes in towards the knee, protecting your knee. You find from here, we're going to come into seated twist. So hug your legs right away, but ease all that. Hug your legs in. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, twist. Coming into seated twist, bring your hand over, resisting, getting a little bit deeper. Every yoga class should have a twist pose and have agni pose, navel, navel pose, core pose. Again, pulsing. We did this in the core class on Wednesday. Really focusing on the liver and spleen. Now we're just focusing on the length in the spine, keeping the crown reaching to the sky and heart reaching to the crown. Pelvic floor gently lifted to activate the muscles. Have your sit bones. And then gently twist as you inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twisting even more, gazing behind you, looking behind you. Now we're going to pause here and you're very gently going to pulse. So you are very gently pulsing, staying in a twisted position. Very slow movement, gentle movement, keeping the length, but there's that micro pulsing, twisting. And from here, inhale, come back to center, release your legs, and seated on the chair, bring your legs together, 90 degree angle with your knees. Hug your legs together, ankles pressing in, Knees pressing in, lift your pelvic floor, inhale your arms up. Hug all the sphincters on your pelvic floor, exhale, forward fold, hands to the heart. We are folding forward nice and slow, engage your core, navel in. You're going to bring your hands to your thighs and from here you're going to massage down to the sides of your legs, extend through your arms, keep the length through the spine. And from here, as we inhale, we're going to resist the legs. So legs are together. We're pressing the hands into the legs, legs into the hands to create traction through the lower spine. So we're going to pause here, breathing softly, practicing contraction, relaxation, resisting your lower legs. Inhale and really pressing your legs into your head, hands into your legs, and then exhale, soften. One more. Inhale and pressing, resisting. Breathe deep into the side joints, your pelvis sacral. And then exhale, relax, release your hands. Inhale, walk your hands up. 
and just pause. Take a moment to reset, have a sip of water. Beautiful. From here, we're going to anchor the hands through the chair, lift the pelvic floor, lengthen the spine, navel in, and we're going to slightly shift the weight back. We're going to open, abduct the legs, and adapt the legs. So we're going to use the core and gentle swing forward and back, using the momentum to open and close the legs. So either you hold on to the chair to anchor and to help yourself, or you bring your hands to your waist to challenge yourself for core. Do it eight more times because it's fun. Don't worry about the breath. Just breathe deep. Notice how it aligns, the breath, inhaling, exhaling. And I think this is eight, or it feels like eight. And from here, I want you to use the momentum. So swing forward and back on your chair, just like that, and stand up. Beautiful. We're coming to um, stand in front of the table, uh, <laughs> the chair for table. And in table, we're going to do nice circles with the leg, having the knee bent. So feet hip distance apart, toe heel in, shift the weight forward and back to toe heel in. And when you're ready, hugging your feet together, legs together, inhale your arms up. Hands together, interlace, exhale, forward fold, 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 extend the back of your legs, bring your hands to the chair and shift the weight forward. So legs are together here. We're going to walk in forward so your feet are under your heads. And from here as you lengthen, you're going to exhale and draw the knee in. From here, inhaling, Draw the knee out to the side and back and coming back. So do the five circles, exhaling in, inhaling, opening through the hip. Nice and strong through the right leg, hugging the sit bone. As you hug the sit bone, feel the hamstrings. Warming through the hip. Nice and strong. One more. And as we do one more circle, we're going to step your left leg forward and right leg back. Mm -hmm. Coming into an open hip, warrior two. Pivot, lower your heel, lower your pelvis, and inhale, use the momentum. Inhale your right arm up. And then exhale down and bring your hands right into the cutty again. Feel your pelvis, feel your sacrum. Gently pulsing up and down. Inhaling, realigning, hugging the sit bones. Exhaling, keep hugging the sit bones. Keep lifting your pelvic floor, lower your pelvis. A gentle massage through the cutty, Marma. Dimples. Hugging through the right leg, scissoring action, plugging that hip, feel those muscles. And then inhale and open your arms, extend through the front leg, toe heel your back leg in keeping the strength, keeping the muscles active, hugging the hip joint, hugging the knee joint. Beautiful. Walk it up. Side to side, high knee. Beautiful. 
begin to swing one leg and the other, finding your balance. However that looks for you. Straight leg up. One more on each side. And walk it up by kicking your heels back, step side to side, kick back. Just loosening any tension from the body. This is the reason. We hold these poses, we activate, and then we have to let it out. Any tension from fascia, from muscles, from joints. Beautiful. Coming to sit. Feet together. Put it down through the right foot. Draw the left knee in. Lengthen the spine. Connect belly to thighs. Hug your hip crease. And from here, rock so slowly with your breath. Massaging, you can flex and point through your ankle. Allow that energy to move, squeeze your toes, spread your toes. Draw the navel in, pelvic floor in, lengthen the spine, open the heart. It will all come automatically if it doesn't yet. But we are all good with lengthening the spine and keeping the shoulders and hips in alignment as much as we can. So minimum 45 seconds to activate the mama points. Up to two minutes if you're doing this on your own, just massage and over these points. Keeping the integrity through the core. And from here, rest your ankle on top of the Leg and check in with your hip, with your knee. What is the comfortable angle here so I can open the hip? And from here, gently massage along the inner thigh. Gently pressing, pulling the skin, the muscle fascia away. And maybe you want to pause and stay within the hip crease, gently pumping, massaging. Exploring, hugging. From here, maybe you stay, maybe you lift. Listening to your body, playing safe. Maybe circles. Beautiful. Rest in your foot. Lengthen the spine. When you're ready, exhale, come to forward fold. We're going to hang in here for a few breaths. Going deep to the left hip. Breathing in and out through the left hip. Exhale a little bit deeper by lengthening the spine and lifting the heart. So there's really micro mini micro movement through the hip joint. All that pelvic tilt forward. And as you feel your joint, your hip joint, the muscles soften, contract through the hip and soften to release even more. It's like a sponge breathing in and out, expanding, contracting. Notice what muscles you feel. And ready, inhale, rise, coming to cross right away. Coming the legs together, lift your belly floor. Inhale, right arm up, exhale, twist, being within the twist. Now feeling the corset. Lengthen through the cervical spine. See the toe. Bring 
in and out through the sit bones, breathing in and out through the pelvic floor, all the sphincters. And from here, we're going to gently pulse. Just like tick tock, just moving, very torquing. Seesaw, micro movement. Still slow inhalation, exhalation. Keep the legs through the spine, each inhalation still grow tall. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, release. From here, anchoring through the chair, hug the chair with your hands. Lengthen the spine, tilt your body forward. Find the engagement. This is our boat pose, pretty much. If we were to do a boat pose on the chair, but we are actually using it to abduct and adapt the legs. So tilting forward and back, lifting the legs, opening. Drop the feet down and coming back. Using the strength. Feeling the hips, feeling the legs, really pressing your legs in. Beautiful, coming back to center. Using the momentum to stand up. Coming to table in front of the chair, using the chair for standing table. So feet together, go down through your feet, hug, inhale, arms come up, and exhaling, forward folding, finding the table, walking in. Find the length through the spine. Let's just do cat and cow. Exaggerated cow, cow for three to reset the spine. Notice the right side, notice the left side, right hip, left hip. One more deep exhale, draw chin to chest, lengthen, and inhale, come to center. Now we're going to shift the weight to the left, draw the right knee in, and eight. Big circles here, keeping the knee bent. Nice and expensive movement. Draw the circles with your knee. One more, I think it's eight. And step forward, right leg forward, left leg back and coming to the warrior to find your warrior, find the balance in your warrior. Use the momentum with the left arm and coming up, coming in. Take a moment. Find a comfortable position here and bring the hands to the back. Watch the back knee. If you go too far, you'll have pressure on the medial ligaments. So coming in, hugging to the back leg, making sure the front knee does not cross the toes and draw the kneecap, the center of the kneecap in towards the baby toe. Open your arms. Exhale, your hands down to the cat T. And from here, feeling the support of your hands, apply very gentle pressure to the pelvis. Exhale, lower down. Beautiful. Gentle pulsing. Keep your pelvic floor active. Sit down, pressing through the big toe of the right foot. And 
from here. Inhale your arms up, extend through the front leg and toe heel back in. Heel all the way in. From here, we're coming straight into Malasana pose. So bring your feet to the edges of the mat, heels come in. Standing in front of your chair. Inhale your arms up, hands together. Exhaling down, hands to the heart. Roll your shoulders back, lower your pelvis down. Then have to step a little bit wider. On your inhalation, lift half an inch, sit bones, pelvic floor lifted, lifting the pelvis half an inch or so to, be, to keep the engagement to avoid collapsing into the hips. Exhale a little bit lower, go down to the big toes. Inhale your arms up and rise up. Exhale your hands down, so heel your feet. Coming to Utkatasana, chair pose. Feet together, inhale your arms up. Deep breath, expansive length, and shift the pelvis forward through down through the toes. And then inhaling back to center, exhale with Katasana. Checking in, lowering down, going deep, maybe hovering over the chair. And inhale, rise up, press up, all the way up, legs together, hands over the head. Lengthen through the entire being and exhale, stretch as much tissue as you can, bring your hands forward, palms facing forward, coming into mountain pose. Steady breath. Coming to face the chair. As you come to face the chair, feet together. Inhale up. Hands over the head, pressing your hands together. Interlace, exhale, forward fold, lengthen the spine, pause. Extend through the back of your legs, lift your sit bones, lift your tail. On your next exhalation, bring your hands to the chair. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Step the legs back and come to plank just for a moment. Core, strong core. Shoulders over the hands. Lengthen through the legs, lower your pelvis, shoulders, pelvis, ankles aligned in one danda, straight line. Step the right leg forward. Bend the back knee, step the right leg forward. And then from here, shift the weight forward, float the back leg up in your mouth, walk your hands to the top of the chair, coming into the forearms, balance on one leg, strong leg, drop the left hip, lift your left leg, lower your heart, lengthen, seesaw, airplane, Let your pelvic floor in that position and then exhale, draw your toes in, left leg floating, draw your toes in and slowly float your leg in. Meet your right foot and from here bend the knees, sit back, coming back to Utkatasana using the chair, folding forward, lengthen the spine, lengthen the tail, bring your hands to the chair, Lengthen even more by drawing that energy in towards your legs. 
Lengthening the spine, feeling the traction through the spine as you sit back. Inhale, lifting, toe your feet in or walk in, coming into Malasana. You can use the side of the chair, you can use the back of the chair. We're coming to exhale, lower the pelvis. From here, as you root down to the toes, we're going to lift the heels. Inhaling up, very gently shift the weight side to side, just a micro movement. I'm exaggerating for you to see, very lightly moving. Feel all of your toes connected to the ground, baby toes pressing down, big toes pressing down. Lift the pelvic floor, draw the knees in towards the baby toes, exhale, lower your heels, nice and slow with control, lower down and inhale, press up, 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 pause, exhale your arms, now toe heel in, nice and slow, bring your feet together, and from here we're going to toe heel feet together to the side. So if you can keep your feet together as you toe heel to the side, keep pressing your legs together, lift your pelvic floor. Lifting your heels, pivoting on the balls of the feet and coming to center pause. If you lost your spot, like I did, Coming to find the chair, standing in front of the chair, feet together, inhale your arms up, exhale forward fold, find the chair, lengthen through the back of your spine, lengthen through the back of your legs, fold it forward, take a deep breath in, Walk your feet away, keep your legs together as you walk away, have your ankles together, exhale, shift the way forward, shoulders over the wrist, and exhale, lower your pelvis, legs are strong, we're going to shift the weight forward and back slightly, rolling on the back toes, feel the strength of your toes, all of your toes, baby toe, big toe, the toes in the middle, we're not crossing the wrist, Moving maybe two, three inches forward and back. Keep your core active, pelvic floor active. Keep pressing your thighs together. Feel your sit bones. And from here, come to center and step the right leg back. Coming to find the alignment. And from here, we're going to shift the weight forward. And again, we're going to lift the left leg up, hugging the right sit bone. So we're again on the same side, going a little bit higher with the left leg, lower the left hip. Maybe we'll draw the right arm up, lengthen from the navel, coming to this airplane. Draw your toes in, back leg lifted, draw your toes in, internally rotate to half an inch. Hug the right sit bone, the right leg, standing leg, strong leg, and then exhale, slowly lower down. Feet together, sit back. Coming into Utkatasana. And as you sit back, pull the chair towards you. So if you can rest your legs onto the edge of the chair, be very gentle, draw energetically, feel the traction through your lower back. There's not much that you do. It's just rooting down through the chair. Hopefully your chair has traction. If it's a soft chair, uh, I might not work, but it might work. And you're hugging your, your, your hands, Claw your hands in, and then from here, draw it in as if you could press the chair into your legs without putting too much pressure on the legs. 
feel that traction through the lower back and breathe deep into pelvis, lower back. Inhale, rise up, extend through your legs, coming into forward fold. Keep the space through the back of your legs and bend your forearms, bend your elbows, come into a forward fold, use the chair. You can micro bend knees here. And from here, inhale, rise up, send tall your hands, step the left leg forward, Draw the right knee in and extend the right leg back. Pause. Feel the left leg, pressing the big toe down, hugging the knee, hugging the sit bone. Lower the right pelvis, right hip. Draw your toes in to protect your knee. Extend to the back of your leg. Lift your pelvic floor. Lengthen through the spine. When you're ready, exhale, slowly lower your right leg down. Shift the weight back, toe heel to the edges of the mat. Exhale into Malasana, going a little bit lower with the pelvis. So coming in nice and low. Finding your Malasana, you have to toe heel your feet in. So this is a great pose for constipation. Whenever I do those yoga trips, traveling on the island where we camp and eat all the camping food, which is great, cooked freshly every meal, but still um, a lot of grain, a lot of like, sticky qualities of food, and it tends to create constipation in people. So we always do malasana in the morning on the yoga trips to help with that apana energy downward moving flow of energy whenever you're ready inhale slowly rising toe heel in come to stand tall come to stand in front of your chair feet together we're almost down we covered everything inhaling up Lengthening, exhale, forward fold, shift the weight, find a plank. Find your plank. Now in plank, we're going to step the left leg in, just to touch, and step back. Step the right leg in to touch, and back. Just feel like that, feel the core, feel the hips, feel the pelvic floor. One more on each side. And from here, step the left leg forward, shift the weight forward, bring your hands to the top of the chair, forearms down, and inhale, lift the right leg, lower the right hip, extend the left arm, lengthen, expansive movement, deep breath, inhaling, exhaling. Go down to the big toe of your left foot. From here, gently exhaling, flow the back foot, knee, the left foot, right foot, feet together, and exhale back into Uttanasana. Again, forearms down, press and join that energy in, feel the traction through the SI joints, through the lumbar spine. Lengthen the tail. And from here, inhale, look forward, gaze forward. Next inhalation, extend through the legs, lift your heart forward, walk it up. Come to sit in the middle of your mat. Move the chair away. Coming to lie on the back, but as you sit, if you have a block, Place the block underneath your sacrum for Shavasana. So option one, Shavasana with the block. Pelvis on top, find a comfortable position here. Draw your knees into your chest. Extend the legs one at a time. Find a comfortable position. Or if you don't have a block, 
We're going to place the feet on the edges of the mat. Knees are bent, no block. And you're going to knock your knees together. That really releases SI joint. So I really want to stay here for 11 minutes. So just like that, come to your Shavasana. And you draw your chin into length in the back of the neck. Breathing in and out, deepen your breath. Very slowly. Move your head side to side. Begin to flex, extend through your fingers, through your wrist, elbows. And slowly extend your arms along the body. And if you are in the position of your knees in, lift your heels first. If you're lying on the block, just gently draw one knee to your chest. And if you are with your knees bent, toe heel your feet in, nice and slow. If you're on the block, draw the other knee into your chest and hug your knees. So both hugging the knees into the chest and extending the legs out. Massaging through your knees, massaging through your shins, massaging through your thighs. And from here, hug your legs in for a moment. Lengthen through the spine, draw your chin to your chest and exhale, roll on to the left side. Use your left arm as a pillow for your head and palms. And connect to your heart for a moment, tapping into the gratitude. Deep breath into the heart and out from the heart. Slowly begin to rise, coming to sit. Bring your hands to your heart. Tend to your heart, lower, drop the mind to the heart for a moment. Feeling, breathing into the heart, feeling the heart expand. Breathing in joy and light. Expanding, radiating joy and lightness. I'd like to thank you for showing up on this beautiful sunny November morning. 
Wish you all have a beautiful day. Enjoy every moment. Namaste. Thank you, thank you.